Welcome to the demonstration system Communication with Simatic S7. This module outlines the basic communication mechanisms of Simatic S7 and introduces you to their application with Step 7. Apart from compiling I.O. data, automation devices must also be able to communicate with each other. This is achieved by means of data communication. The various protocols can be used to communicate with a variety of communication partners such as controllers, PCs or third-party devices. An example are protocols such as FDL and FMS on the basis of Profibus as well as the ISO Transport or TCP IP on industrial Ethernet. Within a homogeneous S7 environment, the S7 protocol is also available to us. Its extraordinary features are simple configuration, transmission of different data types, and independency of the bus system used. In this case, an S7 connection between an S7300 station and an S7400 station will be configured via TCP IP. NetPro is again used for interconnecting the involved stations as well as the connection configuration. Networking can be accomplished in an uncomplicated and clearly displayed graphical manner by means of connecting the respective communication interface with the desired network. The so-called node initiation, which refers to the first time allocation of a bus address, is necessary for all communicating stations. Hence, also for our communication partner, S7400. In order to insert a connection, we select the CPU of the affected controller. In the connection table, all configured connections of the selected CPU are displayed with additional information, such as connection type and connection partner. The connection wizard is called to insert a new connection. As a connection partner, we select the S7400 station from our current project. Alternatively, the connection partner could also be part of a different project. Furthermore, it is possible to use a component unknown within Step 7, which must then be specified more precisely by the user regarding its connection properties. We select an S7 connection from the list of connection types available in Step 7. When confirming the dialog, Step 7 tests the selected connection regarding plausibility and reports an error if necessary. If no errors occur, the properties dialog of the connection opens. Here we find information on the used interface, the used bus system and the respective address for both connection partners. The programming interface of the connection is displayed symbolically by means of block parameters. The save and compile function completes the configuration of the communication connections.